Spring is the season for change and growth, and it's also a great time to think about buying a home. One in four Americans say they're considering buying a home this year, and four in five millennials plan to buy their first home within five years. For first-time buyers, it's hard to know where to start. But real estate expert Greg Dager is here to help. Good morning to you. Good morning, Kayla. Well, what do, home, what do first time home buyers need to consider just right off the bat? I think they have to be keenly in touch with their finances. They really do have to have an understanding of what it is that they can afford to, to pay, you know, what assets that they have available for a down payment. And so working with a real estate agent and or a lender to, to get that initial footing to, to understand, you know, where to look price point wise, I think that's important. Right, important to know what is your exact price area to start at so you're not disappointed. Now, spring, it's a good time to shop right. for homes. Can you tell us a little bit more about why this season is so popular? Sure. The, I think that uh, one of the reasons is because the, the spring tends to be the, the time of year when we have the greatest amount of inventory available. So, you know, people want to be able to see lots of things and, and get lots of ideas. So most inventory available, that, that that that's probably when the buyers are out. They're also trying to drive towards closing in time, especially those with, with children, to be able to move during the summer so that they're not impacting, you know, uh, schooling and, and creating school change, uh, you know, during the school year. Well, and I tell you what else, here in Nebraska, boy, you certainly don't want to be moving in the middle of winter, so the nicer weather definitely helps. Um, <laughs> overall, what's happening in the real estate market right now? So a lot of things, in, interest rates, you know, have made the headlines in, in the last three or four months. And in that, you know, they've moved up. So, you know, we've seen rates that have moved up from the, on 30 year conventional financing from in the uh, three and a quarter percent range to a, a full percent higher, four and a quarter percent range. And so again, going back to that financial consideration, that has an impact on what people can afford. So making that connection with the agent and the lender early on and staying in touch with them as, as markets change really has, you know, has an impact and is good guidance so that, you know, that could actually up or down affect the price point that they can, that they can aim at. It's always hard to keep track of new laws and regulations. So what's changed and how is that affecting things like mortgage rates and affordability? So coming through the recession, you know, there was a lot of pressure put on lenders to ensure that they're making sound and prudent lending decisions. And that manifested itself in terms of the amount and kind of documents that uh, the consumer will see at the closing table. In, in, in short words, it, it dramatically increased the volume of those documents. But another way that it, that it has a, a direct impact on the consumer is in terms of the, the kinds of things that they have to do to demonstrate their, their credit worthiness and sort of willingness and ability to repay. You know, the, the documentation around their income, the documentation around their assets and their tax returns, all of that has increased so that uh, th they'll feel that, especially somebody who's been through it before, you know, they'll, they'll say, well, gee, this doesn't feel the same as, as what I experienced eight or 10 years ago. Well, there's a reason why there's real estate experts out there, because it's a lot of information to know about, to sort through. What would you recommend as the best resource for starting out? I think, you know, I th again, I, I, I run the real estate you know, program at USAA, and I'm a huge proponent of using a real estate agent. I think a real estate agent is a good starting place to guide you, you know, when you're trying to understand, you know, where school, you know, where schools are or a location that, that more adequately meets the needs of what you're trying to, to accomplish, buying or selling, is, is a great place to start. I think they're a good guide in this experience. Great, thanks for your time today, Greg. We appreciate it and happy house hunting season. Thank you. All right, Mike, we'll send it over to you.